welcome along and welcome back to Six Ashes. It is our last video today on late summer because we have just two fields left to harvest. We've got this one, field 35, with the canola, and then we've got up the top, field 74, uh, that I think has... Uh, what is in field 74? Uh, great. Tr uh, Tritical. We got up there, or trit Tritical. Uh, we got up there, which I still can't pronounce. Uh, so we're going to get the class harvester started here uh, with this. It should take a while for it to do stuff uh, on this field because uh, this is the. Uh, oh, no. There we go. Uh, because this is. Uh, a fairly small field and it's got canola in so canola tends to fill up the combine less quickly than the grain will up the top so i'll bring the combine into here we'll bring up our course generation this has got some of the lowest moisture that i've had on uh, any field to be honest uh, starting direction automatic headland we want three as normal for this combine Headland passes, turn in the corners, and generate me a field. There we go. So heading back, uh, nearest waypoint, drive course. And there we are. This combine is away, which means we can head up the top here and jump in our Lexian 9800. So we're going to do everything at once on this field. I want to start up my combine. Yeah. Start up the engine, start up the harvester, and in we go. And we want to drop straw on this, because we are going to do the straw on this today. And there we are. And again, up with course play, clear the current course we've got to generate field 74. Headlands, we want to do two clockwise turn in the corners and generate me a course now this is this combine is not going to take long to do this field so yep that's good and drive course away it goes right we then want to set our baler following so we'll start this off start the baler going and get this following behind so down and my plan here is to try and get these bales picked up as it's doing it uh, if we can catch up with the combine that would be great no whoa 100% well, this is going to be my trouble to be honest, I'm not sure we're going to catch up with this that quickly. So it may be a case of we do a whole load of bailing on this field. Trying to catch up with this combine. But we should be alright. It's, uh, it's one of those processes that doesn't always work right. Uh, we know we can catch the combine because the combine eventually will get full of crop. Let's bring this back around here and I want to unload this bale across Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, no, it is. Nope. It's not gonna roll. Perfect um, Yeah Is our combine maneuvering around here By the time it gets to the end of this first Yeah, we're gonna be able to catch this up good while it's doing its manoeuvring up here, we should be able to control it. There we go. So that is now doing it. While that's doing that, we're going to go and grab our bale stacker down the bottom and start collecting up these bales. Only downside to this is going to be that when the combine gets full which at the moment it's nowhere near doing to be honest uh we're gonna we've got this tractor on this trailer doing you know bale collection at the moment so 
Oh. We've got a bit of a traffic jam. So, what we've... Uh, the trouble we've got is that our combines and everything, or our, our combine is probably going to be stuck while we take the, uh, the other stuff out the way. And to get that done, we need to stop this here. There we go. See if we can get this combine sorted. Because it can't turn in this corner. This corner is really, really tight. Which is why we've got two headlands. There we go. And start you up. Start you up. And down. And drive force. We did manage to stop that bell, which is good. And hopefully, we should be able to catch the combine up. If we're quick enough. We just need to get within spitting distance of it. Although, this is the trouble. We're filling up with grey or with straw quicker than uh, than we can. So it slows us down on a constant basis, preventing us from truly catching the combine. It's a little bit difficult to, to get all this working together. We've discovered this before. We kind of want to get this following the combine. Actually, that would be the better way to do it. Get this following the combine before you actually start moving with it. Or you start the combine moving. Back down. That's got it. There we are. Because you rarely get catched up. So maybe that might be the better idea when it gets to the bottom of the field here to stop it and, uh, and keep it from getting too far ahead look at all this manoeuvring around this corner and especially with the, how badly this baler turns or this tractor turns I kind of want things to go a little bit smoother than this so what I'm going to do is just switch over to the combine and get that to stop. Right, so stop driver preferably before you try and take out that bale. And we're just gonna bring the combine back here, put it down, and finish off doing these headlands with the baler. So stop there. Get the baler done on these headlands. And then we get these bales out of the way. We actually have time today to, to do this. To get these to bale properly. Get these bales collected up. And get it down to... Uh, and get everything out of the way in order to, to keep the harvester going. And this is actually the way people tend to do it in real life. Is they'll do the headlands, they'll get it bailed up and... Well, there's two ways they do it. They do the headlands, get it all bailed up and, uh, and out of the way. Or they will chop the headlands and then only bale the middle part of the field. Uh, either way works really well. This is on a slow roll. And, uh, yeah. And uh, should uh, be quite good. I think I'm going to employ that in future. Uh, see if I can get this to uh, sort of chop the headlands on these contracts. Uh, and then bail the middle of the field. Would, uh, would probably work better for us, I think, overall. You just need to keep an eye on when you're 
Harvester is finishing your headlands. We're not going to get a huge number of bales off this field, but enough to, to make it really worth it, though. There we go. And back it up. We'll go and get these last three bales, and then that is this part of the field done. We want to go and get the straw, actually, up the top end of the field. And I think we might go and clear the, uh, the extra bit that the combine missed up this top corner as well. Right, around. And that clears our headlands off. I do love the distance on this. Just looks brilliant on this map. GB really does well on his maps. Right. There we go. So, we'll go and get up the top corner here with this and clear it out. We're 65% full with this. We're not going to uh, fill more than just this combine. Turn our header on. Turn the main pressure on. Done with the header. And we've got this. There we go. Little bit of stuff off it. And um, we're all good. Right, so next thing I want to do is get this in position down here. And we want to check where our lines are. So this wants to go... Yeah, so current waypoint is there. So that's all good. So we're going to leave this here. And rather than nearest, we'll set it to current. Meanwhile, we're going to take this just up and around the field. Get rid of uh, the remaining straw we have on this headland. And then we're going to be good to go into the main body of the field with this following behind the combine properly. So this is the setup I should have used when I was doing the headlands. Got the combine in position and then before I started the combine actually going, got the follow me going on the T-dub. And that would, have, that would have just worked so much better than the mad chase we had going around the field in the first place. There we go. That's going nicely. And we're up to 86%. That's fine. And then up here. And then with the turning circle of the cruise liner, we're going to try and get stuff in this corner. Just really not turn well, this. 73 is a nice big field that's almost ready. I don't think we're on the last of our harvesting contracts, to be honest. We currently have uh, not a huge amount. Whoa. Ah. That didn't pick that up because we are at 100%. So let's empty that out. And there we are. Get that. And then we'll spin around and look at this. Look at that turning circle. Just non-existent. <laughs> and bring this around here. And done. Right. So now that this is uh, finished doing this top end of the field, what we can do is line this up and get this on follow me behind my harvester. Like so following there and then we'll take this and we'll head up the top and grab that one errant bale we've got up there we've got 11 bales off this field so far
but this should be uh the, this is gonna end up being our most efficient field i think there we go and that means that everything is ready to go we just need to go and empty our other combine quickly before we get started back on this field and actually to my amazement the dominator has finished the entire field at 94 percent full that's mad uh we've got a couple of little bits so i'm going to take it off here uh with this this field was tiny to not fill this combine this field is absolutely tiny uh, I think what we're going to end up doing with this one is putting all of this into the cell point. Simply because we're going to keep so little canola from this field as for it to be pointless to try and stop it. By the time, by the time we've tipped all this into the uh, trailer, it's going to uh, basically have uh, a very little spare. It's it's seven thousand. Eight percent of that is uh, eight percent of that is less than a thousand liters, I think. So yeah, actually it's not it's not less than a thousand liters. It's it's not much more than a thousand liters. But we'll see. It will still make a little bit of money today if we put it in. Will it make enough to make a difference? I don't think so. Especially as we are at 112,000. And, uh, and hopefully, by the end of this year, we might look at buying another field or expanding the farm. Or, or I don't know. You know, we will see where we go with this. Either way, we're, uh, we're doing well. There we are. That has got all of that done. So off with the front with the header and off with the thresher bring this round and empty it into the trailer there we go perfect and there we go our harvester is empty and this field is done. Two nice quick fields by the looks of it to get things finished here. Um, we're just going to turn this off. Put the header down. And then we'll get the tractor out of the field as well. But uh, yeah, I'm pleased with that. That's a nice easy harvest. 48% full. So I'm expecting to only have to deliver about 40% of this complete this so uh, we'll do that a bit later first we're gonna finish off this field so we've got current waypoint let's start the harvester and drive course right so that is on its way that is following behind and we can get this class following behind that uh, the combine is not gonna be full by the end of this field off with the handbrake and yeah this combination has actually worked really really well for us on here so we're gonna see are we gonna get we might get a full 12 bales off here and another full 12 bales off here take this up to 24 But we'll have to see how the combine handles its turn with the tractor there. Actually, it's all fine. It's all going as I'd hoped, which is great. And this, this here is the most efficient way to do this. To get this all to work. I'm pleased that this is now working. And hopefully, we'll continue to. This is working really smoothly at this point. The 
baler is just far enough off behind the combine uh, we're able to follow with this tractor and our combine is at 85 percent i think that we've got enough space in that to probably make it to the end of this field uh, which is great <laughs> it's just this is the smoothest we've had off any of this harvest setup uh, which makes me very very happy we should be in a position at the end of this harvest uh to, to hopefully pick up a couple more of these uh harvest contracts going forwards what we will find with this though uh is that the harvests are going to be put a little bit of a dampener on in the next couple of days simply because i think we have rain on the way and that is why we're trying to get these all done and why we spent so long on this day uh because we we want to get all of this cleared and all of this done before the end so this has gone pretty smoothly and uh yeah having a combine of this size on here would work very well except that we do not have the money to buy it uh nor the time uh, or yeah nor the number of fields to to really make it worth it maybe the smaller lexian would work well on here but we'll see combine is finished so what i'm gonna do is go stop driver and pull it forwards see if we can get our baler to finish off okay and we'll stop following me at that point and then our trailer is just the other side of the hedge round here which we need to get the combine out of this field anyway so the way to do this is to bring it down here get that header there around it's getting the header far enough round so that i can spin the whole combine out of the field and then once that's done I can get it over my header trailer, which has moved. And get the whole thing emptying over here while we go and finish off the field. And that way, we don't have to go and actually do anything with detaching the trailer yet. And similarly... We only want to, deli uh, to deliver about 80% of this as well. How full is our baler? 43%. Uh, so, yeah, we're not going to get any more straw off here, really. There's a few little bits kicking around the field. Uh, nothing very large. I'm going to go and grab this bit here, which is probably the biggest bit. But, uh, yeah, that otherwise is done. And we're going to go and take this uh, back to the farm first and just go and put this away. I don't think uh, we're not going to get anything more off here with this for our crops because we've got our failed oats this year. So it's going to be, uh, yeah, if we get another harvest contract, we might be able to sort this tractor out uh, and, and sort the straw in here. Otherwise, I think we're just going to end up creating... Uh, some straw uh, not some straw some hay or or some silage bales with this back to the farm with the t-dub and we want to go and park our baler up back here i think this is where it normally goes oh, i could do with a wash as well uh, my only worry is i've got straw in it so it probably get this and we'll give it a quick wash on the outside just to get our baler back to its uh, its blue glory rather than the brown that it's currently sitting at. It gets dirty very quickly, this baler. Oh, no, I want that. There we go. And look, there's our Ford. Shiny baler. Yeah. One way, one way we could go on this farm going forwards, if we were to continue after 100 episodes, would be 
to go and uh, start modernizing the farm maybe um, getting some uh, a few more more modern tractors and things in here uh, and uh, and sort of moving things on a little bit but uh, yeah we'll see we'll see how we go right there we go just gonna park this up in the sheds out the way and all done and happily in place right so so at the moment this is a very sort of 80s farm this one that we're running all of our all of our stuff is is sort of 30 years old Right, I'll park up the T-Dub and then on to the next bit, which is going to be selling off the bales. So in total, we've got 17 bales of this field. Uh, not the biggest haul. It is going to bring in an extra, I don't know, actually. We worked, we worked out at about 5,000. No, we worked out about 10,000 for a full trailer worth of bales um this is not that uh this is uh, 70 percent so we'll still make a decent amount of money off it uh, the thing we've got going with both these contracts uh, is the fact that we've completely harvested them before we've even delivered one liter of grain so this is going to be a test of our whole setup uh, in that uh, what what I've been talking about the last few videos both here and on American life farming where we've got the idea of uh, Not delivering any of the crop until after we've harvested the whole field. So using some of our uh, storage to, uh, to To store the field uh, to store all these crops. We need to take this wider uh, and then coming back and delivering the grain at the end and seeing whether we actually need to deliver 80% of it or whether we can get away with just delivering uh, a smaller amount and keeping more of it for ourselves so let's bring this in here position ourselves so that we can get around the blue car like so and I'm going to try and stick the whole trailer in here this time. See if we can sell all of these at once. So, the whole trailer will fit in the sell point. Uh, and as soon as you, you do it, it, it does the selling for them. Um, yeah. There we go. So, that is all very nicely inside the sell point. And sell. So. 6,946 pounds. That's very good. Uh, so actually, we can take uh, this trailer and put it back at the uh, shop because this is rented. And then we're going to go and take this class tractor back up to the field and see if we can complete the contract that we've just harvested. So I've just disconnected the trailer let's uh, return that so garage oh, no garage least items that uh yeah we want to return that perfect uh yes excellent so we've got this trailer we need to return in a minute as well um there's a few other bits and pieces i can't believe how much we've got Rented. Oh, yeah, we rented that trailer as well. So I can actually return that at the moment as well because we're not going to be using that again. So that can go. And then that means we can head back up to the field in this tractor and uh, go and tip that grain. Okay, we're back up at the field. Let's get this backed up. And into here. Yeah, the combine can be collected from here. That's why I've got rid of the header trailer. Now, has the combine emptied is the big question here. And do I have any... There are... Oh, no, there... 
aren't anything or there isn't anything that connects on this trailer that's a bit weird uh is our harvester empty yes so that can go in and this we want to head down to the cell point we've got 54 percent in here so i'm expecting that we will have to deliver 80 uh sorry 41 percent of this uh grain into the cell point in order to complete this uh, so that's what we're going to have a go at and see if 41 percent is what it takes or whether it's actually less than that so we've made it up to the cell point and we're going to bring this in here now i'm fairly sure this contract goes into here let's double check uh this is field 74 uh yes we are 84 percent done on the the thing and it's going to grain coat so 41 percent of this wants to go in here i think bring this round and down and tip it so we want to have 13 percent left that's where I'm going to cut it off at. Sixty-four percent transported. Interesting. Sixty-nine. It is going to take. Done. And we tipped it all. That's what I meant. You know, it is. <laughs> there's so little we've got in here. It's actually really difficult to get it all. In to hold back any of it um so in fact that finishes this all off uh we can return uh this tractor and well we can complete that contract and uh and we can actually leave this tractor and trailer at the side here uh, to get picked up later i think uh first we're gonna go back down to the bottom uh and go and pick up first we're gonna go back down to the bottom and pick up our other combine uh, and our other tractor and trailer and get that contract completed as well. Okay, so I'm down at the other field and what I need to do is just move, I've disconnected all my brakes and everything, but we just need to move this trailer out of the way, disconnect our tractor and go and get the header trailer for this combine into the field because at the moment as it stands uh i don't think that i can get the combine out and the header onto that so let's connect that up there we go and hopefully we can spin this round fairly easily and get this into the field to load this up uh -huh. like that and then the low part of it is to the uh, right hand side as we're looking at it at the moment so we'll pull it around the front here and get the header onto this trailer and then we can hook the header trailer up to the combine so straighten it up get the header in the middle there we go round it into our combine Takes slightly longer to get this one back because obviously this combine is not being returned to anywhere other than our farm. We do need to give it a wash down. Really? There we go. Don't know if that's on there properly. That is. Really getting stuck on that trailer. Let's try realigning this. Right, so. I need to see the trailer underneath it. No, it's pushing it. So, let's detach. And hopefully that will stay on that. Like that. Yeah, that is, uh, that is a little bit crooked on that trailer.
but it is pushing the trainer that's the trouble sometimes it's a, a little bit weird like this where i've had it go onto this trailer fine before but the back part of it is just pushing the trailer away the whole time which is weird but let's get this onto this combine and we can get this back to our farm so detach detach and pull this around maybe it shouldn't be connected to something in order to work properly or maybe it needs to be connected to a different tractor to get the front up properly and that goes on the back of there like so and this needs to connect up to the back of this make this right and we can then get this in a nice convoy heading back to our farm and uh, yeah we're gonna have to clean this combine up because at the moment it's looking very very dirty so uh, yeah let's head home I'm coming up to the entrance of our farm I'm just gonna pull the harvester in here and then behind us over there you can see we've got our tractor so we'll stop that following or we pull this in here and just drop this off uh, ideally I want to wash the combine but I'm not sure how easy it'll be to a get it through the gate and then immediately go to the left it's very tight this it's one of the things I love about this yard Combine goes into the shed very easily. It might not go down to the side back bit very easily. Oh, no. No, that's not working. Right, we'll have to come into here. What I'll do is I'll uh, I'll park it in the shed for now. And, uh, and I can then deal with the rest of that later. Right. So, right, let's go and finish this contract then. And that means tipping uh, this canola into the cell point here. So let's bring this round. I don't think I'm going to be able to control it to the point where I put in only the contract amount. At, at 7,000 litres, it's going to be a hard push to get that to work. So let's tip this. Uh, see if I can actually get this to cut off at the right point. But it's going to take a very, very quick eye to do that. And... No. Oh, five, 500 litres. It's not worth it. Uh, so we'll just put the rest of that in. Yeah. Contract on field 35 is finished as well. So there we go. Let's finish off these contracts, shall we? So here we go. We have six harvesting contracts we've done over this day. Uh, we'll collect that one for 3,900. That one for 8,154. That one for 8,559. Uh, minus a little bit. Uh, Dale field 35 for 1704 uh 3986 and 2363 that is a very nice amount of money uh we're up to 148000 we do still have this trailer kicking around so into the garage and this is the least item so that can go back as well And that means, yeah, we're at 148,000. What did we make on contract work today? That's going to, and we made 88,000 in total. We sold 63,000 pounds worth of bales. Um, and we made 27,360s, 
60 in contract income that is a huge windfall for us um yeah that is just awesome so we can finally move on to the first day of uh, autumn which is bringing rain with it for the first two days so uh yeah i don't think we've got any co uh, any of our crops that are going to be ready next time um we might have 17 is looking promising we may also have contracts on 60 and 61 how much are these fields uh that is 114,000 and 138,000 field 60 is ready to harvest and i'd quite like to buy it uh i think if there's canola in it next time uh then we will probably look and see at whether we can get that for now though i'm gonna leave this here which means that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel ring that bell and i will see you next time goodbye